Well, yesterday I had a problem. with identification and um, trying to figure something out in life. And that was <clears throat> by, you can tell probably by the cotton throat, I guess, apparently. As I was trying to decide whether I was more high Or more drunk and I guess you know why should that even really matter I mean when you're getting hammered you shouldn't think about those things but lately um, going to a country where like alcohol's okay but pot is like really really you can get into a lot of shit there so but I guess it doesn't matter um I'm basically trying to decide whether at this point I am more drunk versus high. And uh, I would say that I'm definitely more high. I'm more high or stoned on pot than I am drinking alcohol. And the alcohol is pretty, it was, I gave it a fair match. It was like two tokes of pot and then, um, 7% really, really good imported beer from Holland at uh, probably maybe three quarters of a liter at 7% versus two tokes of good green bud. And see, the factor that comes in is how good was the green butt that I smoked yesterday? And so with that factor, um, after smoking the green butt immediately before drinking, I noticed that the, the, um, the pot was way better than yesterday's pot. So I guess each day has a truth when in itself. It's like, well, yesterday... I was debating whether the pot was better or, or that I had more alcohol, which one was pr predominantly controlling my thinking. And yesterday it would be the alcohol because the pot wasn't that good. If the pot was good, then that wouldn't be an issue. So, now today I've had about the same amount of alcohol. And the pot was a lot stronger. It was better pot. Uh, when we were going to pick up plants to grow pot plants, we figured we'd pick up some bud there just to see how good that was. And that's like freaking night and day difference between that and the pot I smoked yesterday. And I don't have to say, trust me, you can tell. So... <clears throat> So the pot's better. So things can change in life. You know, life is unpredictable. We don't, we like to think we're in control, but it all happens for a reason. On some level that I'll never understand. But anyways, so, um, yeah. So yesterday when I was trying to decide if I was more stoned or more drunk, I was actually more drunk because the pot wasn't that good. That was the deciding factor of that one. Now this one, I don't know, maybe I could have a little more alcohol in my system. So far, the pot is much stronger than the alcohol. Definitely. I don't know if you can see my, my eyes, they're probably redder than they were yesterday. <clears throat> I'm just a husband, basically.
starred in a couple of movies. Moved to Japan, don't like acting at all. Never did. It was just a job. And then put it being a job, it was more like a chore. But, but anyways, uh, the pot today is a lot better than the alcohol so far. In fact, I don't think I can have enough of alcohol to counter-react how stoned I am on in the good pot because I would pass out before I could come to that place. I have no intention of driving a car in this condition. In fact, I think leaving the house and maybe walking in an excessive amount of steps to actually do something, like, you know, take some more things. All in TV villain, Valley Village, Valley Village. They turned from Studio City in California. Studios down the street. Awaiting good entertainment that never. <laughs> well, I don't want to get into that, but. Definitely more stoned. It's almost like, I mean, the other pot was so bad, it was almost like fake pot. It was like, it was like, I, I've sold this stuff before. I don't think I was knowingly doing it, but it looks like pot. It's sweet and it smells like pot, like it's a female, and it has seeds in it, but yeah, okay, but uh, it doesn't get you high because it's a male plant. And uh, so I think the stuff yesterday, I don't know if it was that bad, because I was buzzing pretty good on the alcohol. So... You know, when you mix all these different drugs and these chemicals and all this stuff, um, it, it makes it makes it more difficult to try and define how much of each one that you've had. It's kind of like uh, taking the prescription and then reading how much it was afterwards. When it's yeah. So basic, normal childhood. And, uh, I guess Valley Village life is good. And uh, I just had to hang it up here. I was here for two months. I flew into Alabama to visit my mom, where the NASA is. And then I went on to Washington. <clears throat> Washington to visit the kid. It's a long story, but she was a crack addict. But when I first met her, she wasn't. She just went down that road. And then she was probably molested by an FBI agent. Which I've never been mentioned before. Shall could we say definitely, yeah. But anyways, yeah, and uh, I don't know where I was with that, but uh, it's been a trip, I guess. Life on the planet. It's... <clears throat>
it's a definite trip as you know because we're giving the mind can it spin a think to think whether it's a trip or not to a certain degree how much the person's in brainwashed they brainwashed by thought control and um, peer pressure and other things in society that as far as I'm able, ever to really be able, well, I don't, I don't need to go into detail about that, but yeah. more stoned than drunk at this point. It doesn't really matter all of that stuff because in fate no one really has a hand on the cards or maybe somebody does and we don't know or taught that or whatever but You can be driving your way home from the grocery store at 7.30 p.m. And you can get hit hard from somebody else that has a bigger pile of metal than you do. And then that's it. Maybe we ate too much cholesterol all of our lives we're in our 40s 50s and 60s and then just one of those chunks floats where it shouldn't but the yeah so going through chemo 